most of all, I want to give courage to those who are on the outside. We can forge our own destiny. We can make things happen for the betterment of our world. Each one of us has that ability. We all have a responsibility. Every one of us can do more to help people, especially women, find their power and get their power back. And we can lift people as we rise in our personal life and our careers. Does anybody remember the year 2008? Yeah, me too. That's when I took over the family business. I got in there and I realized that we had two weeks of liquidity. So I had to shift my mindset. I had to look at what I have, not what I don't have. Step by step with grit, grace, and a lot of hard work. We took that less than million dollar organization into a global enterprise that's now shipping into 15 countries. I was probably 13 or 14 years old at the time. And at that time in Washington, there were protests happening. We talked to my mother and we tell her all that we're learning about South Africa and apartheid and everything and that we want to get arrested. And she said, wait, I will drive you down there right now. The thing that we share most of all is our superpower. And that's that every time they knock us down, we get back up. Every time. And the waves keep coming. The year 1967 to 68 was an extraordinary year in America and an extraordinary privilege to be there because it absolutely shaped me. When I went back to Ireland, I was very different. I felt that young people could re make a real difference. No other young person in Ireland was thinking that, I think. And the law that I wanted to make was about women's rights and uh, rights of LGBTI people and, and you know, changing um, a very Catholic-driven Irish society into a modern, um, open society, which we have um, now. Let me say this again. Women make the majority of the philanthropic decisions in the household. And philanthropy is a leading economic indicator around the world. So stay with me. If women lead giving and giving leads the world, women lead the world. You know, we're seeing women leading the charge. Those 16 million new business applications I talked about, uh, we see that uh, the startup rate of women is 94% higher than that of men. And it's exciting to see them and their power. And when we bet on women, we will succeed. I humbly ask everyone to think about the ways that we can continue to create and sustain a more inclusive community, a culture of generosity, ensure that everyone's voice is heard and seen, and support and sustain artists going forward.